Welcome to Electron Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to explore how to divide the number by a fraction. So let's go and review a few things here. Notice that here we have a simple division. We're dividing one integer by another integer, and we get the result. The words that we use for that is that this number we're dividing is called a dividend, the number we're dividing by is called a divisor, and then the answer is called a quotient. Notice the similarity between that and the fraction. In the fraction, we call the number on top the numerator, which is really the dividend, and on the bottom, we call this the denominator, which is really the divisor, and we divide the 3 into the 12, we get the answer 4, which is the quotient. So that's the similarity between fractions and what they could potentially stand for. Now let's walk over here and take a look at these numbers here. Notice when you take the number 4 and divide by 4, you get 1. And the reason why that is true is because when you then multiply the answer, the quotient, back with the uh, divisor here, you get the dividend back. So 1 times 4 equals 4, so you know that's correct. Same when you divide 4 by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, because when you multiply 2 times 2, you get 4 again. 4 divided by 1 is 4, because 4 times 1 gives you 4. But what happens when you try to divide by a fraction? 4 divided by 1 half... Well, the answer to that, it is 8. And the reason why you know that's true is because when you multiply the 8 times the 1 half, 8 times a half, that gives you 4 again. What's strange about dividing by a fraction is that you end up with a number that's bigger than the original number you started with. And that kind of makes it a little bit confusing. So don't let that confuse you. When you divide by a number that's smaller than 1, you end up with a bigger number than what you started with. So what we see here in this pattern that as the divisor becomes smaller, and here's your divisor, 4, 2, 1, 1 half, as we make it smaller, the answer, called the quotient, becomes larger. But still, we come to the question, how do you divide by a fraction? Well, the answer to that is, to do something like this, to divide by a fraction, the way you can find the answer is by multiplying by the inverse of the fraction. What does that mean, the inverse of a fraction? Well, let's say you have a fraction that's 2 thirds, 2 divided by 3, or 2 thirds. When you want to find the inverse of that, all you have to do is flip the fraction upside down. So the 3 goes to the top, and the 2 comes to the bottom. So the 3 becomes the denominator, the 2 becomes the numerator. And notice, when I flip the fraction around, I get the inverse of the fraction. Which means, if I now divide the number 4 by 1 half, well, that's the same as multiplying by the inverse, which means I'm going to take 4 and multiply times the inverse of the fraction, which is now 2 divided by 1. Well, 4 times 2 gives me 8 divided by 1, which is simply 8. And that's where the answer came from. So for a more representative example, let's divide 2 thirds by 4 nines. Again, the way to do that is by dividing, or in this case, multiplying by its inverse. So this becomes the same as 2 thirds multiplying times the inverse of that, simply flip the fraction around and get 9 over 4. So now you would multiply the numerators together, you would multiply the denominators together, or before you do that, you may want to simplify just like what we've done before. 2 and 4, they're both divisible by, by 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 3 and 9, they can be divided by the same number 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3, and now the result of this simply becomes 1 times 3 in the numerator divided by 1 times 2 in the denominator. So the answer is 3 divided by 2. So when you take the fraction 2 thirds and you divide it by 4 nines, you get 3 halves. Remember, when you divide by a number smaller than 1 and 4 nines is smaller than 1, you get a bigger number than what you started with, which indeed is what we got here. So that's how we divide by a fraction. 